Britain. Once a small Roman station, little more than a village, here it is today with its 150,000 souls. Crowded streets throb and pulsate with life, for its march of progress has never been stayed. Derby Cathedral possesses a beautiful 16th century tower, commanding from its summit fascinating views of the district. This modern electric power station is the main spring that keeps countless wheels turning and lights burning. The ancient market with its fruit and flower stalls is the mecca of the thrifty housewife. Close by stands the old mayor's parlour with its ancient timbered front. What a story it could unfold. Military bands play in the Arboretum, which holds the largest collection of trees in England. Derby has brought by an extensive artificial lake the seaside to its people, where boating and yachting are favourite pastimes, and where healthy, happy youngsters, the boys and girls of today, but the men and women of tomorrow, love to fish in its waters and what sturdy youngsters do. If they ever get tired of paddling in this glistening water, or you of watching them, there are 21 other open spaces for recreation. Or you may stroll along the banks of the beautiful river Derwent. But Derby is not simply a playground. Look, for instance, at its great railway works, where we see engines being built. Nearly 4,000 men are employed here. Half a mile brings us to the largest malleable castings foundry in Europe, where molten metal at over 2,000 degrees is poured into sand moulds and will later be used all over the world. For motorists, it will be interesting to peep at the birthplace of a world-famed car and see its gradual manufacture and assembly. Or if motoring isn't fast enough for you, watch the red-hot metal being stamped to form part of an aero engine which will take you with almost lightning speed and perfect safety all over the world, and which Boothman used when he won the Schneider Trophy at a speed of over 340 miles an hour. The noise here is so terrific that you need to plug your ears with cotton wool. Did time permit, I would take you to beautiful Dovedale and the Peak, but at any rate, I trust this film will leave pleasant memories of our historic Midland town.